Patrick Harbour for visiting the Cleveland Cavaliers. At power forward, George Niang. At the other forward position, Isaac Okoro. At point guard, Darius Garland. At center, Jared Allen. At the other guard position, Donovan Mitchell. The head coach of the visiting team is J.B. Bickerstaff. for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. All right, a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Karis LeVert. I don't think anyone expected to see his production drop off the way it has over the last few games. But I have to credit the defenses he's been facing. They've done their homework and they're finding ways to hold him down. And now he needs to find new ways to beat them. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. Mitchell and Okoro, they are the wings. Jared Allen out there with George Niang. And it's Garland in at the point guard. And for Minnesota, Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. Nas Reed out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the one. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. Driving in. Here's Reed. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Mitchell misses. And so Conley will bring it up for Minnesota. Down low. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Last time they met was in Cleveland. It was textbook rim protection in that game. Taking real pride in shutting down the other team. It was obvious. They pressured that team from the outset every trip down the floor. That will wear an opponent down over time. Now here's Gobert. Great D that time from Allen. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Mitchell against Edwards. Allen with a screen on Edwards. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Well, Jared Allen proving he's more than capable of beating good defense. That's nicely done. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Conley finds Edwards. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. 
Here's the Kuro. Outside Garland. Five to shoot. From down in the low post, it goes. Well, Coro is a team first guy that wants to involve his teammates. Pretty pass there. Conley passes to McDaniels. And here's Reed. Pass to Conley. Reed to screen on Garland. Here's Conley. From 13 feet, down it goes. Now Mike Conley is comfortable. Doesn't matter what area of the floor he's on. That time in the mid-range. And you look at the impact of Mike Conley. He makes a difference without making many mistakes, Doris. B.A., just an extremely disciplined point guard. He'd rather make the smart play than the highlight reel. This guy sets such a great example on and off the floor. Now here's Conley. He's coming off a 13-point game against Denver. I thought his physicality was crucial, too. You know, he kept the defense on their toes and repeatedly got to the free-throw line. Here's Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Pulls up. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Here is a guy who is not shy about sharing the basketball. If you are open, Darius Garland will find you. Garland against Conley. With the floater, and he sinks the layup. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Nia, outside. Pass to Okoro. Allen with a screen on McDaniels. The three from Mitchell. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's on Anthony Edwards. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. Free throw is good for Mitchell. Well, we see the young star talent for the Cavaliers, Doris, but where do they need to improve? I think the big challenge is making sure you have quality depth. The East obviously has changed. It's so much tougher than it had been in the past. The back end of that rotation is proving so significant to your success. And the Cavaliers with possession here. After the Timberwolves picking up a basket a moment ago. Conley looking for an opening. Pass to Reed. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Reed's got his second bucket of the night. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Niang with it. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. We have seen from Darius Garland, he has a real talent for making his teammates look good. Pretty pass there. Outside Edwards. There's the three. He buries it from three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Garland against Conley. Allen with a screen on Conley. Allen in the high post. Pass to Mitchell, over Edwards. Mitchell misses. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now here's Edwards. He had a 30-point outing in their last game against Denver. Yeah, what about his work on the glass? I mean, he was an all-around contributor to a winning effort. It's stolen by Garland. Mitchell with the ball. He's picked up by Edwards. And that one's good. Mitchell. Mitchell's got his third basket on the night right there. I'll tell you, Donovan Mitchell in transition. Bearing down on a defender is not pretty. Reed to screen on Mitchell. Here's Edwards. Again, the Timberwolves score. Another lead change. Give these teams credit. They're really fighting it out. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. 
Bailey with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're coming off that loss against Denver. And it was an awful game defensively. They lost the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. I'll tell you this, if you're going to allow your opponent to make that many shots, you have got to be as solid on the offensive end, and clearly they were not. Well, Doris, the Timberwolves have made consecutive playoff appearances. That's a win for this team. Well, when you consider that hadn't been done in this organization going all the way back to 2004, it does show they are moving in the right direction. The next step, obviously, they have to win a series. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Doris, we come to the final stages of the regular season. The playoff picture really coming into focus. B.A., this is a fascinating time of year because you wonder how the contenders balance this part of the season. Are you completely committed to staying healthy and whole, or are you trying to preserve or improve your seating to get a particular matchup you're looking for? So much at stake. You know, Doris, looking at the Timberwolves, they've emphasized rim protection. B.A., this is a theme across the NBA. As much as we see the proliferation of three-point shooting, team's first priority is to protect the painted area because those are the easiest shots. You've got to play to your strengths and employ good defensive philosophy. Boy, if you let Donovan Mitchell get comfortable shooting the basketball, you're in for a tough night. That's an easy catch and shoot. Careful to your foul. The quarter. First person foul. Second team foul. Gobert finds McDaniels. Back to Gobert. Six on the shot clock. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Now here's Mitchell. 11 points in the game. Niang outside, takes the three. McDaniels with the rebound. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Gobert with a screen on Garland. Conley passes to Reed. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got his third assist of the night. The Cavaliers have gone seven of 14 and looking in control. Conley against Garland. Allen with a screen on Conley. Here's Mitchell. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Pass to Conley. And Minnesota calls time here. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. Well, he's got a great natural feel for the game. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Thompson, he's checked in for Allen. Morris comes in for Niang. Levert's checked in for Okoro. And it's Merrill in for Donovan Mitchell. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Here's McLaughlin. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. Fires from deep. Cavaliers with the rebound. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No waste of possessions, and that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's Alexander Walker. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about 7.5 per game. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Pass to Merrill. Morris, a screen on Reed. Here's Merrill. Fires in the triple. Merrill's got five points. And just sinks it over the tall defender. 
That's why you have to crowd shooters on the perimeter. Today's player is not intimidated by size. You even give them a sliver of a window, and they're going to make that shot. And he makes it. And this night already has the makings of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. Now here's LeBert. The three. The shot by Merrill, no good. Yeah, no, he usually makes you pay from that range. Anderson against LeBert. Oh, he picked him clean. A minute 53 left in the opening quarter. Count it. Good. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Cavaliers? Well, their hands resulting in plenty of steals in the early going, keeping the opposition there off balance. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Alexander Walker with the bucket. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Morris outside. Pass to Levert. There's a minute 17 left in the opening quarter. No coverage that time. He's got five. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Levert goes against Anderson. Gobert with a screen on Levert. Anderson passes to Gobert. Anderson inside. He's checked by Levert. Reed for three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Levert outside. Pass to Garland. Shoots over Anderson. It's blocked by Gobert. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Reed with it from outside the arc. Knocks it down from distance. Reed's got nine. I mean, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Garland, the pass to Morris. Levert goes against Anderson. The shot by Levert, no good. And here's Anderson. Here's McLaughlin. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow. Huge shot to beat the buzzer. My goodness. Well, that's the perfect end of the quarter for them. You have no idea how much of an effect those buzzer beaters can have on a team's momentum. Just a big-time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of energy for the Cleveland Cavaliers. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points, leading the charge. And don't go far. We'll be right back. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And taking a look at the Cavs' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Setting the floor for the Cavaliers. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. Marcus Morris out there with Karis LeVert. And it's Thompson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's LeVert. 23 points for him last game against Indiana. And he comes up with a bucket. LeVert's got his first points of the night. That's just a feel that you have in the pick and roll game. Really good understanding of how to break the defense down by Karis. Floats one, and Warren with the bucket on the assist from Edwards. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Now Garland. He's coming off a 13-point game against Indiana. He was also an excellent setup man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. Just four to shoot. Morris for three. 
the Cavaliers, another three. Ooh, ooh, how about the level of focus from the big man? Marcus Morris doesn't allow the defense to alter his shot. Pass to Anderson. Here's McLaughlin. For three, Warren. Lovehurt with a rebound. Cleveland has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Thompson left side. Now Levert, 4-3, connects from downtown. And now a seven-point Cleveland lead. Uh, Karis Levert has worked diligently to make his three-point shot legitimate. Knocks that one down. McLaughlin, and right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. McLaughlin's got six. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Warren with the ball. Pass to McLaughlin. Anderson against Mitchell. Anderson passes to McLaughlin. Here's the three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Levert with the ball. He's picked up by Edwards. Mitchell with room to shoot. Nice open look, but it's no good. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, the Cavaliers are one of the best young teams in the league, and it's up to their point guard, Darius Garland, to help distribute. He said, quote, we have so much talent on the floor. I just try to get my big fellows the ball so they can stay active and work for us on the defensive end as well. That's the game within the game right there, Brian. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. McDaniels is checked in for Minnesota. Conley comes in for McLaughlin. For the Cavaliers, Jared Allen comes in for Jones, and Okoro is subbed in for Merrill. Pass to Okoro. Outside Mitchell. Mitchell with the smooth stroke from distance. Ooh, they've been on fire from deep this quarter. Their percentage has been rising and rising. Conley passes to Anderson. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. To the inside. Morris finds Mitchell. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, pass to Morris. Outside Mitchell, down to five on the shot clock. The three-pointer off the mark. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Edwards, a pass to Anderson. The Cavaliers pull it in. Here's Levert. Five points in the game. Mitchell up top. Back to Levert. Allen with a screen on Edwards. And here's Levert for three. McDaniels with the rebound. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Outside Edwards. He's off on that one. Ooh, Levert with some nice D. Outside Mitchell. Levert passes to Okoro. Morris on the wing. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. Mr. Morris leaves no doubt. And it's Edwards with the ball for Minnesota. They trail by six. Yep, that one goes. Edwards got ten. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Allen outside. 
Back to Levert. Pass to Morris. Edwards against Levert. Allen, pass to Okoro. Outside for Mitchell. Launches a three. Edwards pulls it in. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Down low. And the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. Here in March, things are heating up. Let's check out the teams in the West. You take a look at the Timberwolves. Right now, they rank third in the conference, aiming for a high seed in the postseason. Seeing where the Timberwolves are, their fans were expecting a lot from this team this year, and they haven't disappointed them. It's been a terrific season, and they're far from done yet heading into the playoffs. Rudy Gobert's checked in for the Timberwolves. Niang, he's checked in for the Cavs. Darius Garland comes in for Levert. Garland finds Mitchell. Garland against Conley. Left side, Garland. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Outside Edwards. To the middle. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. But Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist, but he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, but yeah, I like how Woody uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high percentage shots that come to him naturally. First free throw is good. Well, Grant, you've been the up and cover, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. Reed's checked in for Edwards. And so Gobert nails both of them. Well, we know Rudy Gobert is going to go down as not only one of the greatest defenders of his generation, but of all time. Just look at the number of times this guy has won Defensive Player of the Year. He is a force to be reckoned with. Now here's Mitchell. 16 points for him. Here's Okoro. The open shot by Allen. Gets some space and buries the jumper. And the Cavaliers lead by four. Just getting more and more comfortable. You can see Jared Allen gaining confidence in that jumper. Go ahead, young sir. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Looking now at some numbers for Anthony Edwards. And during the last five games, he's been a force on the boards. Really throwing his body at rebounds and trying to grab as many as he can. And that kind of effort has been noticed by his coaches and teammates. Cleveland has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Garland, the pass to Nia. Now here's Mitchell. From deep. Gets the three to fall. Mitchell's got six points in the quarter. And now he's dropped two three-pointers in each quarter. Minnesota calls timeout. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean... I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. All right, we're coming off the court. Come on and get the out for your Timberwolves. Break your Give them a hand, man. A quick look at the best when it comes to the boards. Second is Rudy Gobert. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. points now. Reed to screen on Mitchell. And it's Jared Allen with the foul. 
That'll be a second foul of the game. That's a foul he wanted to avoid, and he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. And here's Conley, taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Five on the clock. Alexander Walker, the pass to Conley. There's the three. I think Darius Garland knew exactly what the opposition was thinking there. What a display of defensive anticipation. Pass to Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, how pretty was that dunk? My goodness. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. Here's Conley. It's a nine-point spread. Screen on Garland. Pass to Alexander Walker. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got four assists in the game. There's a reason Mike Conley's teammates love playing with him. If you're open, I promise he'll find you. Now here's Nia. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Here's Conley. Trailing by eight. Now Reed. Nine points in the game. Outside Conley. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Shoots a fadeaway. Reed can't hit. And it's Garland with a ball for the Cavaliers. Pass to Mitchell. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Minnesota has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Now Reed. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. Edwards, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. personal foul. 13 foul. At the line for your triple balls. Nine, three, one shot. Here's Garland. He's got five. Allen with a screen on Conley. Conley against Garland. Going inside and finished off by Garland. Well, this is a combination of speed and quickness. Darius Garland knows how to drive the basketball. Two minutes in the first half. Edwards against Mitchell. Pass to Reed. And here's Conley. Outside Edwards. Clock at six. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. And the Cavaliers call time here. And Doris Anthony Edwards has lived up to the expectations. He continues to get better each year. He does, B.A., and let's remember, as a former number one pick, that carries a lot of weight and responsibility. But Ant is a guy who embraces that pressure. He wants the spotlight, and he puts in the work to be great. His future is bright. Oliver Hurts checked in for Mitchell. Make some noise. Here's Garland. He's got seven. No good on the quick three. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Pass to Gobert. Connolly with the ball. Guarded by Garland. 
Reed can't hit. That's a complete effort. Stuck with his man, gets his hand up, and then he doesn't hesitate to finish the possession with the rebounding job. Now here's LeVert. Five points in the game. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Been talking about Karis LeVert. He's someone that does whatever is asked of him, Grant. You know what, B.A.? You're right. <laughs> Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. Free throw good. Levert. Well, it's no secret, guys, that Karis Levert can flat out score the basketball. I think the key for him moving forward, just become more and more efficient because the ability is there. Both free throws good for Levert. One minute left in the second quarter. Edwards against LeVert. Now here's Edwards. Tight defense on him. Outside McDaniels. Shot clock at five. Reed sets a screen from the arc. McDaniels can't hit. The Cavaliers leading. LeVert outside. 24 seconds left in the second. Pass to Niang. Over Reed. Niang. That's good. We've got 13 seconds left in the first half. And here's Edwards outside. He drops it from range. Edwards got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Anthony Edwards getting into that pull-up game. Nicely done. And a deep three from Garland. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. Cavaliers leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. They've been lights out from deep, and it's a big reason why they have a lead in this one. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Hey everybody, halftime is upon us, and the scoreboard showing a deficit for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're giving up too many threes, gotta extend their defense, get out there and cover on the perimeter, jeez. They look like Shaq trying to guard me out there, slow-footed and a step behind. And now, your favorite part of this show, for some reason, social media posts. Here's one we got from Yum Applesauce. What really goes on behind the scenes between halftimes? Tell the truth. You guys ready to disclose our secrets? Well, we really do just watch the game, but we definitely get the snacks going on now. Or in Shaq's case, a full five-course meal. Well, maybe if you ate a little more like me, you'd get big and strong like me. We do go through a, a lot of food around here, but I think we can all admit it's a group effort. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. McDaniels out there with Nas Reed. And it's Gobert in at the five. And that's the group from Chris Finch as we begin the second half. And so it's Minnesota with it. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. Outside McDaniels. Back to Conley. Pass to Edwards. Shot clock at six. 
Off target from outside. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Okoro passes to Garland and out of bounds. Minnesota will have it. As we approach the postseason, let's see how things are shaping up in the East. You look at the Cavaliers, now in second. They look to be in terrific shape moving forward. Well, I think for Cleveland, they've been relentless competitors all season long. They've assured themselves of a lot of home games in the postseason, and we'll see if they can capitalize. Picked by Gobert. Edwards, the pass to Gobert. The contact, not enough to bother Gobert at the rim. Oh boy, the added strength of Rudy Gobert over the years helps him complete the end one. You get the sense this guy loves to score the basketball. At the line for Minnesota, Rudy Gobert, one shot. Here's Mitchell. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. The three is up. Sinks the tray. Mitchell's got 26 points. Boy, right from the opening tip, guys. Mitchell was focused and locked in, and he is doing damage offensively. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Darius Garland has the talent to set the table and get his own. Coach Vickerstaff said, quote, well, Darius is really good first and foremost. He understands when it's time when we call his number and when it's time to get the other guys involved. We've been able to depend on him, and he's proven that the moment is never too big for him, Brian. All right, Ali, thank you for that. Good stuff. And that strength and concentration from Anthony Edwards. Yes, there's contact. Doesn't bother him. Edwards against Mitchell. Niang a screen. Outside Garland. Clock at six. Niang outside. The three from Mitchell. Garland for three. And the Cavaliers, another three. Wow, what a start. Three for three. Terrific play calling. Everything clicking out of the gates here. Pass to Edwards. Conley up top. Here's McDaniels. It's stolen. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Now here's Nie. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. Edwards with it, picked up by Allen. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's foul number two for him. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And so it's Allen who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Garland finds Mitchell. Back to Garland. Mitchell against Edwards. Six to shoot. This one for three. It's another three for Cleveland. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Garland against Conley. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Three-pointer. Here's Gobert. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Rudy Gobert showing a bit of an edge on the interior. This guy, if he goes up strong, the defense is going to have to whack him to contain him. That free throw misses. Oh, 
Good on the second one. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially PG County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. The Timberwolves have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. It's Edwards on the wing. Right wing. Outside McDaniels. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. The three from Mitchell. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Mitchell's got nine points here in the second half. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pass to Reed. Edwards against Mitchell. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Edwards has got four points in the quarter. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. It's blocked by Gobert. Wow, insanely tough to get a shot off when Rudy Gobert is around. Wow. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Here's Niang. The Timberwolves have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. McDaniels finds Conley. Gobert with it. Six points for him. Back to Conley. Six on the shot clock. It's Edwards on the wing. Takes a three. Nails it from three. Edwards got 22 points. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. Garland, the pass to Niang. Nails it from beyond the arc. And the Cavaliers lead by 15. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Garland against Conley. Pass to Gobert. Conley with the ball. Outside Edwards. Edwards is doubled. Here's Gobert. Oh! Ferocious from Gobert. The unselfish play by Anthony Edwards. Teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. Niang outside. Outside Garland. Niang a screen. Garland the pass to Niang. And the shot goes in. Niang's got 12 points. All game long, he's been getting to his spots. And the defense has yet to adjust. Edwards against Mitchell. Outside McDaniels. Outside Conley. Pass to Edwards. Let's go with a three. He's rebounded by Okoro. The Cavaliers have gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. A pretty solid aspect of Isaac Okoro's game is his defensive presence. It is, B.A., and here's the key. The offense is starting to come. This guy has invested time into becoming an elite two-way status type of player. You have to put in the work to get the results. Here's Conley. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. Garland against Conley. Inside. And stolen by Edwards. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Rejected by Allen. Wow. Jared Allen twice on the pipe. Send it back, young sir. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Morris has checked in. Reed passes to McDaniels. Edwards with it. Edwards is doubled. Shoots it from the corner. The rebound by Allen. 
Allen's got seven rebounds in the game. Edwards against Mitchell. He takes it in over Edwards. Mitchell, good. Mitchell's got 11 in the second half. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Back to Edwards. It's McDaniels on the wing. Outside Conley. The three ball. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Mitchell finds Allen. Garland scanning the floor. He hits again. Seven for 13 and looking confident. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. Boy, just sheer dominance. The ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. And Minnesota calls time here. For Cleveland. Thompson, he's checked in for Allen. It's intercepted. Morris, right side. Fires the three. It's another three for Cleveland. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers and then scoring on the other end. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. And it's Garland with a ball for Cleveland. Driving to the basket. Oh, there's the alley. And the slam dunk by Thompson. You can see how long Thompson's arms are when he goes up to finish that alley-oop. Alexander Walker, the pass to Reed. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Alexander Walker. Give him eight. Now here's Reed, defended by Thompson. Three on the clock. Reed can't hit. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Now here's Garland. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Morris, a screen on Conley. Here's Garland, and another basket for Cleveland. Boy, Darius Garland in no mood to be denied on the interior. Go ahead, young sir. Now here's Conley. Edwards is doubled. Pass to Reed. Here's Alexander Walker for three. Thompson pulls it in. There's a minute 26 left in the third. And here is Morris. Garland with the ball. Releases from 15. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. McDaniels got five rebounds tonight. Outside Edwards. Outside Conley. From downtown, pure from three-point range. Conley's got 11. Well, Mike Conley has proven a consistent three-point shooter in his career. Get a hand up, folks. Garland finds Mitchell. Double-team on Mitchell. Outside Garland. Thompson with a screen. The slam dunk by Thompson. Uh, Thompson, he has such a low, wide base. He is near impossible to fully box out. Conley against Garland. Outside McDaniels. Back to Conley. The kick out to Edwards. And they double up Edwards. Pass to Reed. McDaniels from long range. And another three for Minnesota. Defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Mitchell against Edwards. 
And here's Mitchell. Thompson, a screen on Edwards. And it's Mitchell penetrating. Comes up empty down low. Just a big time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of energy for the Cavaliers. Knocking down three after three. He's up to seven three pointers tonight. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Hey, right after this. And two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And for the Timberwolves, their shooting has been good, around 52% from the field. And Cleveland, looking at who they've got to start the fourth. Marcus Morris out there with Tristan Thompson. Then it's Karis LeVert, then there's Mitchell, and it's Merrill in at the point guard position. And that one's good, Mitchell. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Takes a step back. Here's Alexander Walker. He's checked by LeVert. Grant, you look at the league's basketball-related income. The players and owners split it about 50-50. You know, B.A., that's why they call it a partnership. You talk about a shared interest. The NBA has really become a leader by example in all of professional sports. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Following the score by Minnesota. Morris sets a screen. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Pass to Miller. Doesn't go that time. Thompson with some nice D. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting it at 61%. A terrific average. Here's LeVert. Soft touch off the glass. Now there's a reason Karis LeVert shoots well from the field. This guy is great at picking great opportunities. Edwards against Mitchell. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Edwards. And here's Anderson. Out left to the wing. Miller. Lavert with a rebound. Lavert's got four rebounds in the game. Thompson with it. Here's Merrill. The three from Mitchell. On target from range. Mitchell's got 39. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivery. Puts up a three. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Now here's LeBert. The D's right on him. Pass to Merrill. And for the players coming into the league, potentially set for life. But there are pitfalls you have to look out for, Grant. So true, B.A. I mean, it's tough. You can't take all your childhood friends along for the ride with you. You've got to be cautious with new acquaintances. So it'll definitely keep you on your toes. You must make great decisions. Two open that time. Made it look easy. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open. And they just got burned. Pass to LeVert. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam! Uh, Donovan Mitchell showing off that great vision. For Minnesota, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Alexander Walker, and he converts the layup. Outstanding pass on time and on target. The Cavaliers have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Now here's Thompson. LeVert outside. Thompson with a screen. Let's it go from deep. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Boy, that's thanks to Karis LeVert's court vision, making the right plays in pick and roll action. Pass to Alexander Walker. Now Edwards. It's rebounded by Cleveland. LeVert's got six rebounds in the game. 
Here's Merrill. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. Morris passes to Levert. Fires the three. Drains the triple. Levert's got seven points here in the quarter. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team, productive and efficient. Now here's Thompson. To the paint. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Yeah, that's a fantastic job by Thompson. Really a perfect pick and roll man who's very skilled at diving to the cup. To the inside. Outside, Anderson. And in terms of the league as a whole, there have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history in the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace. And across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So I don't know if it's all for the best. Here's Levert. After the Timberwolves picking up a basket a moment ago. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Miller, clock at six. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Hey, you leave him open, he's gonna make the defense pay for that level of disrespect. It's Levert on the wing. From deep, Mitchell. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Anderson's got four rebounds now. Outside Edwards. Ooh, Morris with a steal. Fast break, Cleveland. Here's Levert. Here's Thompson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Anthony Edwards. Well, Tristan is starting to develop a sense for how to find contact and working his way to the line. He's off on the first. And those dreaded words, load management, never far away. You think 10 years from now, Doris, teams will still play back-to-backs? Well, B.A., we've certainly seen the league make great progress in cutting back on the number of back-to-backs that every team has to play. But this is challenging. You have an 82-game schedule that begins in October and ends in June. I'm laying odds uh, that they continue to eliminate the four games and five nights, but I don't think back-to-backs are ever going away completely. Yeah, Thompson not really the guy who's going to punish you consistently for sending him to the free throw line. Reed in the post. He's working on Morris. Reed passes to Conley. Shot clock at six. Gobert with a screen on Porter. Conley finds Gobert. Yes, it's good. That gives him a double-double. There's not a ton of time left, but they're still in the game. McDaniels against Levert. Pass to Merrill from behind the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. This guy is such a good all-around player. Karis Levert sharpening his court awareness and finding his open teammates. Conley passes to Edwards. To the middle. Here's McDaniels. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for a lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there. But the result is an emphatic jam. Yeah, sometimes aggression can overcome certain offensive limitations. You saw it right there. And the Cavaliers with possession here. The Timberwolves getting their last shot to go. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Pass to Gobert. 
And here's Edwards outside. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Porter. He's guarded by Conley. Count the basket. Porter's got his first bucket in this one. Gotta show more strength on the low block to keep him out of position. Well, it's a couple of things here, I think. Certainly the effort, the willingness to fight, and the willingness to push him off of his comfort zone. Now here's Edwards. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Edwards has got 10 points here in the second half. Porter with it. Pass to Levert. Thompson scanning the floor. Now Morris. Reed defending. And another basket for Cleveland. Well, they've decided to give Tristan Thompson a little bit more opportunity to handle the ball. And what a pretty delivery there. Outside Edwards. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing four. Oh, 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 down below. How about Anthony Edwards? The bounce. Go ahead, Ant. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Cleveland has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Levert passes to Merrill. Morris down low, Reed defending. Pass to Edwards, jacks up a three. Cavaliers with a rebound. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Porter against Conley. Porter, the pass to Levert. From deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Gobert's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Porter against Conley. Here's Reed. That one rolls around and rims out. A fadeaway, not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. Pass to Conley. Sinks that one from the post. Well, there's not a little bit of hesitation with Mike Conley. I know he's slight of frame, but he's thinking I can score it in the painted area. Now here's Levert. Well, Grant, we've seen some teams double up with superstar players at the same position in recent years. Sometimes it works. Yeah, you know, and other times it doesn't work. I mean, it forces a coach to be very creative. When you have multiple players who are used to being the guy, it can be hard to keep everyone happy. Reed can't hit. Cleveland dominating the game. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Cavaliers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And this result tonight, it gets them to 44 wins on the year. And with just one game left to play between them, they've captured the first two meetings of the year. And what a huge performance it was for Donovan Mitchell. Anytime they needed a bucket, they put the ball in his hands and say, go make a play. It was impressive to watch. Here's Edwards following the score by Cleveland. Three good. Coach is loving the ball. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Pass to Morris. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. McDaniels with the rebound. And here's Conley, guarded by Morris. And here's Conley. And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it.
That's how you win on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill.